That's wicked, all right. Wickedly boring. Hey guys, this is my review for The Death Cure, the final movie in the Maze Runner series. This movie actually has a bit of an interesting relationship with the film community of Vancouver. The film, as many of you know, was delayed heavily because the lead actor, Dylan O'Brien, was grievously injured on a stunt. He had a car roll over his head, basically. Now, do not take me for my word, but just from what I have heard, through the people who I have worked with in the industry, the reason why the film was moved from Vancouver to South Africa after that incident was because of what happened between Dylan O'Brien and the stunt team. The original sequence, I don't know which one it was, but in the original sequence Dylan was supposed to have a stunt guy come in for him and do the action. Something to do with jumping over a car or something. But Dylan was like, I can do it, guys. I can do it. This is a problem because this is a last minute change. This shouldn't happen. Stunt sequences take days to set up. So the fact that he was insistent about it and like, okay. But the stunt team was like, we don't, we can't guarantee your safety. And they, and he said, according to what I heard, he said, if it's my fault, it's my fault. If I screw it up, it's on me. Evidently, something happened with the wiring system, he fell low, and he got hit by the car and run over. He then, apparently, sued the stunt team for what happened to him. Ergo why the movie, once it was done, moved to South Africa. So that's your little interesting tidbit. Don't take my word for it, but that's what I've heard. Anyways guys, so the movie itself, now it's probably gonna be nowhere near as interesting as that because honestly this movie isn't very interesting. I fell asleep. I'm not kidding, I fall asleep. The first movie and the book are all right until you find out what the maze was. And then I was like, Ooh, fuck this, this is stupid. How in a post-apocalyptic situation is there the resources, the management, the materials and everything to make a giant fucking wall of China like maze move its walls. The Scorch Trials was not that good either. The Scorch Trials was incredibly predictable. Dylan O'Brien runs like a woofy. He's just like, whoa, with his arms. And I didn't like that movie at all. And this film picks up where the last one uh, left off. They're trying to get their buddies back. There's two basic parts of this movie. This train sequence at the beginning and then going into the city, the last city. And the first thing I will say before I just destroy this movie the action sequences are actually really well set up. Director Wes Ball has actually improved himself with every single film and the direction and how it is shot is tight. Every action sequence, while somewhat predictable and a little generic here and there, is really well shot. The camera's on focus with what matters. It's not shaking to a ridiculous amount like it did in the later Bourne movies but it is on point with what matters and some pretty good gunfights in it. I'll give it that. Now to shit all over this fucking movie. Every single part of this movie is predictable. You are able to pinpoint everything that's gonna happen. And the thing is the film takes so goddamn long to actually progress. You're able to map it out about 10 minutes ahead of it. Like, for instance, I fell asleep about mm, 45 minutes into the movie. I fell asleep for about five or six minutes. I woke up and I sat, I, my roommate was there with me. Hey, what happened? And she said, nothing. And I said, well, did this character basically get them back in? Yeah, okay, that's what I fucking expected. Because the movie is so boringly drawn out that you lose interest. There's a scene, actually, in fact, where it's, supposedly a very, a, be a very heartfelt scene with the main character and one of his friends. It's supposed to be a really intense, emotionally distressing scene. And it was for the first minute. By minute four, you're going, all right, just fucking end it. It just takes forever to move along. This movie is essentially going into this place to get his friend out. Um, the woman in white, or the, the white woman who basically has this 
Thomas, you have to help us. She's just as emotionless as she was in the last few movies, and she's just as pointless in this movie. Uh, little finger is little finger, just evil. He wasn't even that entertaining after a while. I was liking him, I was like, hey, he's gonna be an evil asshole. But then I was like, all right. And then there's this part of the end that kind of involves itself with the idea of, the, of a cure for the Scorch virus, and the fuck? Was it literally that? I'm asking this to the people who have read the books. Is it literally that simple? Is it that fucking simple? How and why did they do this maze shit in the first place? The first movie is ruined. Anything that's good about it, the first book, anything that's good about it is ruined through these movies because the idea of why the maze was there in the first place still makes no fucking sense. I have a feeling that when James Dashner wrote the first book, he had no idea that he could make a trilogy. He had no idea to how to end it. He literally had no idea. It was going to be a one-off novel and that was it. But then the whole young adult thing was picking up steam. He got bought by a... And he got involved with a movie studio and he's like, Oh, money! And so that's pretty much what happened, I think. In the end, I'm going to give The Death Cure a 2 out of 7. Which is funny because that's exactly what I gave Scorch Trials. The first one still gets a 3 in my opinion. But anyways guys, that's the end of the trials. That's the end of the Maze Runner series. Thank God it's over. Good production value. I'm amazed at how much shit blew up in this movie. And it's just like, wow, you guys are not gonna make that money back, you know. Anyways guys, if you like this review, leave a like down below. If you're interested, maybe subscribe. Tell me what you guys thought about it. Was it similar to the book? I didn't bother reading the other two because just after seeing the second movie, I was like, fuck that, I'm not going to touch these books. But, yeah, let me know what you think. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.